The thioredoxin system is a major reduction oxidation pathway in cells involved in the regeneration of many antioxidant compounds. It plays important roles in the cell's defense against reactive oxygen species and in the regulation of apoptosis. The system consists of the proteins thioredoxin and thioredoxin reductase. Although thioredoxin is the main substrate of thioredoxin reductase, the enzyme is able to catalyze the reduction of many other substrates as well, including selenite and hydrogen peroxide. Mammalian thioredoxin reductase is a selenoprotein, meaning that it incorporates the rare amino acid selenocysteine into its primary sequence. The presence of selenium instead of sulfur allows for a greater reactivity. Selenium is more reactive than sulfur, and selenols are much more acidic than thiolates, allowing them to be more readily deprotonated at physiological pH to produce the highly nucleophilic selenolate anion. It has been shown that the replacement of selenocysteine with cysteine in the mammalian thioredoxin reductase reduces its activity to reduce thioredoxin dramatically and completely destroys its ability to reduce any other substrates. Thioredoxin reductase is also a flavoprotein, containing an FAD coenzyme, which, although not covalently bound, is engaged in a maximal number of hydrogen bond interactions with the enzyme to produce an extremely tight linkage. In order to reduce thioredoxin, first NADPH binds and reduces thioredoxin reductase. This reduced enzyme then binds thioredoxin, reducing it, allowing thioredoxin to then reduce many other chemicals within the cell. The NADPH binding domain is located near the FAD binding domain at the end terminus of the protein. The central beta sheets interact with the adenine substituent, and two arginine residues hydrogen bond with the 2'-prime phosphate group. When bound to the enzyme, the reduced nicotinamide group is able to interact with and reduce the flavin group of FAD. Thioredoxin reductase actually contains two redox active sites, a disulfide located within an alpha helix at the FAD binding domain near the N terminus, and a selenonyl sulfide at the C terminus. The N terminus site receives the electrons from reduced FAD, but it is at the C terminus site where the substrates are reduced. In order for the two redox sites to interact with one another, the enzyme must form a homodimer, allowing the N-terminus site of one subunit to interact with the C-terminus site of the second subunit. Thus, the functional enzyme is a homodimer, containing four redox centers and two substrate binding sites. Let's discuss the full mechanism of thioredoxin reductase. First, NADPH binds and gives its electrons to FAD, forming a charge transfer complex. Next, a histidine residue abstracts the hydrogen from FAD, and the electrons are donated to the N-terminus disulfide to form thiolate ions. One thiolate then attacks the sulfur of the C-terminus selenyl sulfide of the second subunit, reducing the selenyl sulfide bond and forming a disulfide bond between the two subunits. Next, the remaining thiolate at the N-terminus redox center attacks the neighboring sulfide, restoring the oxidized N-terminus and fully reducing the C-terminus. The thiolate then abstracts the hydrogen from the histidine. At this point, the C-terminus redox center then swings to be much closer to the substrate binding site, where an oxidized thioredoxin will bind. The selenolate attacks the disulfide of thioredoxin, forming a selenyl sulfide bond and a thiolate on thioredoxin, which then abstracts the proton from the thiol of the C-terminus redox center of thioredoxin reductase. The thiolate then attacks the selenyl sulfide bond restoring the C-terminus center to its oxidized state and fully reducing thioredoxin, which is then released and abstracts a proton from solution. In this image, the FAD, disulfide, and selenyl sulfide bonds are shown. As can be seen, the main C-terminus redox site is on a swinging tail of the thioredoxin reductase enzyme. Shown here, it is in a position to interact with the substrates such as thioredoxin, positioned 12 angstroms away from the disulfide redox site. When oxidized, however, the tail moves to be only three angstroms away, allowing for electron exchanges between the two sites. Mercury has for a long time been known to cause severe toxicity in humans. However, the exact mechanism of its toxicity is not fully understood. Research suggests that the inhibition of the thioredoxin system, and especially of thioredoxin reductase, is a major contributor to the toxicity of mercury compounds. Mercury forms a covalent complex with thiol and selenolate groups, inhibiting the functioning of thioredoxin reductase and leading ultimately to cell death. The primary focus of thioredoxin reductase research has been as a potential drug target for treating cancer. 
Although in early stages of cancer development, the antioxidant functions of the thioredoxin system prevent oxidative stress and thus protect against carcinogenic substances, its activity promotes tumor development later on. This is due both to the high level of reactive oxygen species production in cancer cells and the inhibitory effects the thioredoxin system has on apoptosis. Therefore, cancer cells express thioredoxin in a much higher degree than healthy cells do, making the enzyme a good target for cancer pharmaceuticals. A wide variety of thioredoxin reductase inhibitors have been discovered. However, many of these inhibitory drugs are nonspecific and can have potentially harmful cross-reactions with other chemicals in the body. The difficulty of developing drugs specific to the thioredoxin system is still an open problem. Selenium has a strong affinity for noble metals, and much research has been done investigating metal complexes as inhibitors. Gold metal complexes have been synthesized, which have been shown to inhibit thioredoxin reductase activity and prevent tumor growth in mice, yet avoid unwanted reactions with blood thiols. However, the exact mechanism of action and potential cross-reactions with other redox enzymes are still being investigated. In addition, research is being conducted to discover compounds that inhibit the formation of the thioredoxin reductase and thioredoxin complex as potential selective therapeutics. With more research and clinical testing, thioredoxin reductase inhibitors may play a major role in cancer therapy in the near future.